let's say that I were going, well, if that were just a little closer and I were going there and, and I had to use old 52, I got to come up with a contrived swing to get it up high enough to stop it. But with my 60, it made so different. I keep that blade dead square. So everything is square. All right. Now, uh, on a pitch shot, let me just go through the basics of a pitch shot because there's, there's two things different. Uh, I want to return the club and I want to clip the grass. Now, you need to understand, let me make something really basic. We have the big ball, the earth. Okay, and then we have grass and we have air. Pitch shots, you want to put it in that little bit where there's grass. Now with real tight fairways, there ain't much grass, <laughs> right? Is it, how about Augusta National trying to pitch the ball? It's, I mean, it's like a green, trying to pitch off the green. It's tough, but most of the time we have grass. All right, if we're on that road, it, you can't hit a pitch shot. Because you can't get, you can't get, even with this little bit of bounce, you can't get it in there. I used to see George, George Archer was one of the best short game people. He used to get in the athletic position and I would see him just find, see how just find in the ground? Find it just in the ground. You don't want the ground. I don't want any ground. I just want to slide it through the grass. Or where that grass is. That's my margin of error right there. And then the ball will end up about right there in the place where it's supposed to. If I, in other words, now, always hit the ball first with chip shots, with the hands way in front, and the blade dead square, and you get the ball and then the ground. <coughs> this one, you hit the ground and the ball at the same time, but the ground is the wrong word. You want to hit the grass, the grass and the ball at the same time. Grass and the ball at the same time. Now, the setup's different. The right foot is still turned in, so you can't go right. The ball then is played where the manufacturer made the club to do. See, that's like that, and then you let it drop here. It's, it's the same place. The butt of the club is the same. Pitching is there. This is here. But my hands are still slightly in front. And when I make a little bit of move, they'll get the mount in front that I want so that I can catch the grass, and head toward the ground, and come out like that. So the sound, you can hear the sound. It's just kind of grass. Ball. Now, I think. This is holding me up now. I'm, I'm balanced with here, but I'm holding up heads to the right. And see how wide that's going to go? Now that was bad green. <laughs> <laughs> that's where those guys go to hit the mark. That was a good shot. It was a bad, it was a bad hit. How's that ball going to go left? Okay. Right. Pull the target down. Line it up right here. Tuck it in. Well, there's my boot. That's more the shot I want. I'm visualizing. There's my target. I'm going to carry about right here. It'll bounce once. It'll bounce a little, and then it's going to start rolling. And I see that ball in the hole. When I was playing for a living, I would out and fail to see the ball in the hole. Okay, now I'm all set here. Pull that target down. It's right there, and that's where there's a little piece of grass right where I want to land. There's a little piece of grass there. You see my little move to get my weight over? Yeah. 
<laughs> so what I'm going to do, and there are two ways to do it. I can get in athletic position, close my right foot in, open my blade, have my intermediate target right there, and come up and set my blade on that. Now see, I'm already to the left. Everybody see that? And then I'm going to dig in until I'm below the and then I'm going to take about a half or three quarter swing, something like that. I'm going to come back down. Because I dug, I'm going to enter the sand there. And then I'm going to go all the way up to there. Nothing's going to stop me. And I'm going to be going the fastest right about there. Without thinking about going the fastest, because I went here, all the way to there. Any questions on that? Since you've dug your feet down, your ball position is the same as it would be out here in the grass, correct? Right? Yeah. Exactly. When you turn and go this way, it actually goes a little more to the left. But if you drew a line to your foot, it's not more to the left. Right, so you're not moving the ball forward. No, because you see when I go like that, that in effect moves it forward. Is that, that, that's a little confusing, but let me make that clear. I'm standing here, but when I go to the left with the blade square, it's going forward. It, it's up in here, but see like that, it's more back in the normal spot. And then the other way to do it, is to come up like you would on a normal wedge. That's like this. Okay, now here's your blade square. So you go ahead and open it up for a sand shot to put the engage on. See, when I do that, look at that bounce. I've got 20 degrees of bounce now, as opposed to there. So you can come up, you can open it up, and then you can swing yourself left until the blade goes pretty close to the target. Those are the two ways to do it. Whichever one makes you most comfortable. I like to get all ready back there. So when I move in and dig, one last look, and then my little motion, then I go. Now you got to be fearless swinging. you got to be fearless. You, you're gonna, I'm going to make a swing. If there wasn't sand, they'd go into that china berry tree back there. And I've occasionally hit it in the china berry tree. But, but, but I'm trusting that sand to kill this enough where it pops out. Okay, so here we go. There's my intermediate target. I'm open. I'm right at the, this is the closest one, so I'm right at the very bottom of the grip. I want this to go the shortest it can go, 60 degrees, uh, and at the bottom of the grip. Bad. Pushed it. Good. Okay. <laughs> now, same shot. And I want it to go a little that much farther. All I do is go to the middle of the grip. Everything exactly the same. Yeah, I gotta slope. go a little farther. Yeah, it's a little down slope, kick it forward. Damn greens. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, same shot, but I'm just gonna go to the bottom of the grip. Everything is exactly the same. See, I'm, I'm right on the very bottom now. One swing, three distance. I'm, I'm a Hogan disciple. Okay. This is square, that's square, and that is square too. And if I've got those three things right, i got a good chance to get a pretty good shot. And if I start letting this foot open, I notice that this club face opens. And then i got a lot less chance to get a good shot. And I was taught as you get older that you need to kind of let that foot go out. That's crap. I mean, just stretch for it. <laughs> I, I, I want everything. To, I want. There's a picture I want to see right down there that's on the intermediate target, and until I die, I'm going to play that one. I'm just going to keep stretching. Yeah. So don't. This is bad. See, everything that goes right is bad because that makes you do this. So the club face will. If you've got, if you're used to looking at this, and you do that, it's going to fall. And if you start hooking it, you move it back. 
then you're going to overdo it, you see? That's bad. So keep that ball in the right place, keep your right foot square, and go after it. Right handed, come up. Watch, watch, watch my dance. I'm setting it, I'm looking back, I'm in here. And when I go there, I'm left, right. That's my dance. And once I go, and, and then my legs, I want my legs to move from there. Did you see that motion? <coughs> that's not very much. But that's what he was talking about. That starts me setting up over here where this will hold me up. Let's see if you can see it. Right, left, right, and I'm gone. Nicholas used to do this all the time. I mean, this is one of his drills. He wanted, see, he wanted his body started him, so he would <coughs> up here and take it back there. Okay. So, but then all I do is that first motion. I don't want any more than that because if I do that, I'm going inside. I just want enough to get the weight started over here where it'll hold me up. Now this, this is just a three-quarter shot with my 60, and for me, I hit this 65. So there's the 60, this all goes five yards over there. This is old West Texas three-quarter shot. You make a lot of errors trying to hit it harder or softer. You get some of your worst shots changing your swing. So that somebody asked Hogan, do you change your swing? He said, why would I? It's too hard to do. I use one swing and I change the angle of my face. I put that into my brain and I said, that's the way to play. I, I got to watch him practice a lot and there's no comparison with the way he hit the ball and the way anybody else I've ever seen, including Jack Nichols. He did the same thing over and over and over. He did a perfectly balanced shot. He put the ball, sent it out, and go. Learned ahead to weaken his grip because he had a hook, fought a hook, weaken his grip, put it over the left so he could really get there, really get his hip lead and get there and not hook it. But, you know, which is what we're all trying to do, but that, it, it, that's hard. Uh, so anyway, I learned to play all my distances from this point out with one swing. And I could hit there. All my clubs are 15 yards apart. And we're starting here with this is the 60 degree, and when I just make my swing, it goes 80 yards. And it still goes 80 yards. If it doesn't go 80 yards, I'm going to put another degree, of, I'm going to make it a degree weak, uh, stronger, so it'll go 80 yards. Because I don't want to change my swing. At some point, I'm going to lose it, but I haven't yet. I thought I would lose it before now, but I haven't. Are, are you with me? So it's one swing. You got your one swing. What I learned from a guy named Dave Hill, and, th and I learned this a long time ago back on regular tour is if you want to hit it five yards farther you just close the blade a little bit. If you watch Tiger Woods you can see him slightly manipulating the club that's the way Butch Harmon taught him. But it's so hard to see because one degree you, you, you can't I'm gonna move one degree. Did you see that? That's one degree. It, 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 it. Okay. But I need to move one and a quarter green in, in physics. See if I got four and I want to and it's 15 yards I got it on it five yards. I gotta close this little bit. And if I want to hit it, there's a trick to hitting it shorter that I'm gonna teach you today. Most people don't know. You, we have subconscious and we want to fool it with one shot. We want to fool our subconscious. Okay, so my 80 yard shot, everything is the same here. And I want to just hit my, my, my swing goes 80 yards. And then, then the next wedge is 15 yards, 95, and the next one's 110. And when I'm practicing, that's what they do. I mean, I, I don't miss it two, three yards. You know, now, this is a starting point. You know, it could be a little downhill, uphill, wind into you. That's just your starting point. But one swing. So I played one swing after about 1994. I played one swing the rest of my life. Didn't hit it harder or easier, except in really strong wind. And you got to get down to the bottom of the grip and hit all these funny shots. But I grew up in West Texas, so I knew all that. Uh, but normal, I mean, most wind under 15 miles an hour, these new, new balls hardly fix them, you know. There is your ball position still up. Every, everything is right two inches off here. There. Hands there. Never vary that. And I get it by going over with the right hand to the left. See, that's where the left hangs. Most people are taught with two coming here. That's why I was taught I had to learn that myself. I won't go to the 